Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. And, and th this short talk will, will have uh, some modest contributions, perhaps, to add terms of reference uh, very directly in, in the heels of, of, of David's quite, quite extraordinary sur survey. Um, this, this work that I'm going to share with you includes some teaching models and, and some personal practice and, dr and draws an attempt to, to navigate information and translate it in, into a, a, a wholesale participation in the world through, through design. And it, the, the title is taken from a couple of medieval terms, which, which I will use a, a little later in, in the talk as a, as a method of, of navigation. Um, Prefiguré pre and, and disfiguré are taken from uh, St. Thomas Aquinas and speak ab about anticipation, planning, and then a deliberate disruption as very, very interesting words take, taken from, from a Western tradition in, in terms of relating to immensely important things. Let me try and situate this by, by speaking about some models of relationship with the, with the environment um, in, in, in order to set up a, a brief discussion. One set of, of, uh, of relationships might be ones which work with the solid ground, with reliable nature, with a tradition that can be treated as an absolute parent, and in that kind of historical certainty, a very particular kind of response of, of design, of, of architecture, might be said to, 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 to result. That is, a sense of architecture which could could operate as a beautiful filter, as a resonant kind of mediator with that certain world. An utterly different project seems to, seems to emerge in this past century, in which instead of the firmament, a kind of a proud achievement of absolute independence, radical, voiding in independence with, with the world results. And again, another kind of architectural response might, might be offered. That is, the sense of terms of reference turning in on themselves, of figuring themselves in, in, in their own integrity. We think we'd think of, it, of terraria, for, 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 for example, trying to make something viable in itself, making our, making our way, but proudly within an independent situation, of a, a kind of a void. What kind of relationship might, might be offered in, in, a, in a, oh, I see that. Well, in that case, this diagram is very little. How much um, did you do Okay, sorry. Okay, so so I was just trying to trying to offer a, a miniature set of cosmologies or or, or relationships with, with the world. And, <laughs> and I started with this with a sense of. A, a kind of certainty of historical nature, and, su and suggesting that, that a response might be one of, of producing a resonant filter, a, a mediator with, with that kind of, kind of certainty. And, the, and the, then, then I was trying to speak about a modern project of deliberately creating in independence, the, the, the void as, as its own kind of achievement, and sets of responses to that as having quite different terms of reference. That, that, that is, Figuring themselves, making themselves in, in, uh, in, integral. For example, the project of spheres or terraria, or, or self-enclosed, self integrated, self living environments, and then raising the question of what kind of environment, what kind of, of, of horizon might define a contemporary condition, a kind of stuttering, slight, slightly insecure, perhaps unspeakably in, in, insecure sense of, of the firmament in the environment today how very tempting it is to work with a, with a kind of a, a, a radical reduction of a footprint, of, defi of defining a limit to, to, to our own architectural responses as, as, a, as a kind of a, an, eth an ethical response. And yet how very, how very, very limiting that kind of notion of architecture as a prophylactic might, might be a, a, a sense of, of, of reduction. I've just tried to, tried to speak about some basic terms of reference for, for, for navigating response, and they, they might be summarized in two basic ways. Perhaps one mode might be thought of as creating an optimum. For example, creating a sphere, like a maximum enclosed territory with a minimum enclosing envelope, the kind of implied ethic 
that goes goes in, into such a project in the, in the Western canon of, of making that into a kind of an internal, optimal, perfect architecture, realizing that there are ethics absolutely behind such a thing, such a Western canon. I mean, for example, we can think of a sphere as an exemplary thing, Buck Mr. Fuller would have told us that, or else we could think of a sphere as being a machine for absolutely minimizing interaction and, and involvement with the world, because after all, there can be no less uh, less invol involving surface, given that given that there's that the sphere has the has the radical minimum of, of, of interface for its enclosing territory. To the converse, then, of offering a mode of diffusive form of seeking radical involvement of the maximum possible interface for 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 a, a given enclosing volume, and so this is suggesting that there could be certain form languages then of involvement or of resistance that could be tremendously useful in navigating the, the, the kind of information and, and design responses that, that, are, that are spun today. This then might produce a kind of a productive ambivalence, that is a, a kind of an oscillation of navigating with the world in terms of analyzing and seeking a, 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 seeking a kind of an embodiment and perhaps those modes pr produce a sense of, of fertility and, and entanglement. I want to offer just th three examples coming from very different places uh, in, in terms of teaching and, and practice. In, in, a in a first example, I know you can read this, absolutely, it's really satisfying, isn't it? Um, at Waterloo, currently in, in, in the undergraduate curriculum, now we have standard practice of measuring energy of buildings, and, 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 and there's a very, very direct in, in energy report, a, a footprint, kind of, kind of a, a, a rather solemn exercise of comparing how you're doing with others and of understanding your impacts, um, and also of, of working with relational systems of, of programming in, in, a, in a very direct and, and procedural way, so, so, such as a spreadsheet analysis in, in, in which the, the programs and adjacencies can be understood very directly and simply in, in, in parametric terms. I'll, I'll just, just get on the, the software for a second so you can get a feeling for that because I know how very satisfying this is. So here's some, some EDIS software that, that we're using. Um, and what we're looking at here is, is the same data as the spreadsheet that I, that I was showing you before, in which there are a set of, of adjacencies and areas and, and positions, and then we can na navigate these, the, uh, the, the, the adjacencies be, be between elements very directly and haptically, or else we, we can also ge generate an optimal ad adjacencies just directly and, and algorithmically. Taking a different tack from, from that kind of analysis would be a kind of a full-blooded diffusion using material synthesis, such as the, the weather-like -like systems that, that, that are guiding my own work currently. And in, in this work, I hope this one will start up. Yes. Um, there are layered systems at, at work which start with hyperbolic scaffolds, structures, and then which are clothed with quite humid, viscous systems full of lands and traps that, in, that impart material flows, fl fluids that move back and forth using salts, for example, pull, pulling materials in, using suspended filters, which, which, which pass gentle convective flows through, through the system, trying to make, in general, a kind of quasi-metabolism out, out of environments, a, a gentle ambient kind of condition which ripples out from, it, from indi individual bodies, certainly not viable in, in, uh, in, in a full-blooded sense, but starting to achieve a kind of dynamic self-looping, st stuttering viability in, in terms of, of, of sets of responses, responses that work with diffusion. <coughs> And alongside, uh, or just to echo David's lo lovely examples, here, here, here are so, some iterations in, in, in protocell manipulation 
fluid systems which are now clothing those, those environments, such as this strand generation using a TROB cell formulation. This is this copper sulfate and potassium ferric cyanide in, interacting and looping and mixing together to make very gentle little felts which pump through osmosis and then build on themselves this strand making system, ho hoping to clothe the geotextiles of, of the general system in the future. So uh, a, a kind of an architecture which can start to build itself. Now this has a, a very different agenda than what, than what, what uh, David was offering, I think, because I'm, I'm hearing you suggest, suggest that materials can, can act as a kind of a physical computing for the sake of analysis to, to reveal underlying patterns. Where this has a projective agenda, that, that is, these, we're, we're using these things, build, building on an understanding of, of uh, let, 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 let's say, of stoichiometry, that, 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 that is, equations of, of chemistry that speak of viability, in order to make a projective, viable system which wants to live, quite, quite unapologetically. <laughs> and perhaps there could be an enthusiasm about a building that would sneeze. Yeah, I'm very excited about this one anyway. It, it, it stays mostly inside of flasks, forgive me. Um, here's just what, just a final loop for, for where, where this body of work, which is from the Hylozoic series, is, is going, with, which is ramping up this, the sensor activity, which, 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 is, uh, which is organized in, in, in meshed uh, communication systems. And, and here, there's, there's uh, the next generation is a collaboration with Philip Bailo, a wonderful cinematographer, using stereo, very, very sen sensitive th th thermal sen sensors in order to be, to be able to see the kind of paths and tracks that exist around bodies. This is not a digital synthesis film at all. This is, this is being, there's no natural light in this film. We're just looking at the interior light, let's say, or, or heat energy of bodies and the traces that are, that are left in a surrounding environment. And so this kind of meshwork of impacts rippling out for, for, from individual bodies and perhaps from a body, body politic ho hopefully provides a, a, a kind of a portent or a, or a hope for, for an architecture of the future. Um, a final example then is, is to return to, to the medieval examples in trying to grasp the kind of the presence and perhaps an ethical meaning for the surrounding space and the impacts uh, uh, within which our, our individual bodies and our, and our projective acts work. And this figure, not so much the religious figure it, itself, but rather the gendered halo form, this vesica, seems to be a, a, a very potent model for thinking of, of, of how architecture, reframed as a milieu, might be understood. This kind of procedurally constructed act of, of light as an amplification, as a kind of an expanded physiology. And just to, just to amplify that, uh, to, 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 to amplify it in, in terms of a kind of an ambivalence, a, de a deliberate ambivalence, rather than just thinking of this as an expansion of, of power. Um, here, here's a, a, another fragment of an image um, from Fra Angelico. And, you won't be able to see the veil around this figure very well, but, but we could take it as another kind of a vesica that, that is a maternal halo, a gendered kind, kind, kind of space, so an, an act of extraordinary fertility. And especially if we look at, at the kind of disarticulated grounds that are spun around here, we see something really extraordinary happening. Because in the grounds that are prefiguring life, prefiguring incarnation in, in, in this scene by Fra Angelico of a, a Madonna and a child and the surrounding genesis of the world, we see a remarkable kind of intentional disfiguration as well. There are blotches of paint. There are deliberate kinds of blurring. There are radically raw brush strokes underneath the, the feet in, 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 in this cloud of, of becoming in this figure from, from 1475 or so by Fra Angelico. And Georges de Huberman, this, this lovely fr fr uh, fr French contemporary art historian, speaks about the conception of disfigure in, in, in this as being something that, that really can, can renew our appreciation for a pre-humanist, 
pre-Renaissance canon, because that term is speaking about working with material things deliberately outside of human control, deliberately outside the kind of canon of forming things into the known, forming things into the canonical. Instead, these marks are deliberately disrupting, chaotic, spattering, disgusting e even. And it's the stuff that, that might be familiar to us from, from contemporary action painters, but it's absolutely extraordinary to, just to see it very directly at, at work in, in a different culture. And so I hope that those different strategies, that is explicit measurement in, in pedagogy and a set of, of full-blooded material diff diffusive works, and then a set of terms, perhaps from, from something that, that works before the tradition of humanism, or perhaps as a contribution to post-humanism, might be a contribution to the discussion.